Hi, my name is Fiona O'Grady and I'm joining you from our beautiful garage space at Microsoft in Dublin. I am so excited to be sharing this Codex demo with you today. As a model that understands language and code, we can use Codex to build more fluent user interfaces. In this case, we are using the model to power a language-based command line interface. So let's start in PowerShell. Let's say, what's my IP? We hit a keyboard shortcut for the model to suggest a script. In this case, it suggests a web request against a service that returns our IP address. Next, I'll say what's running on port 1018. Developers often want to know what's running on a port so they can free the port up for something else. And it looks like there's a node process running on here. I actually know what the process is and I want to stop it. Let's see if Codex can do that. And look, it wrote the correct script to go ahead and free up that port. Next, I'll say make a git ignore and add node modules to it. This requires the model to understand the semantics of what we're doing. That a git ignore has a period in it, that node modules has an underscore. And I'll say, open it in notepad. And the model successfully opened this git ignore that it created in notepad. And you can see right there, it has the node module folder in it. Building this prototype didn't require us to retrain the model. It was enabled through a discipline called prompt engineering. We give Codex a few examples of the kind of code it should write, and it can generalize from those. If I switch to giving it more conversational examples, then we can coax the model to produce conversational responses. Now when I ask, who made the last change to this repo? Codex should respond conversationally and use our speech cognitive service to respond. The last person to change the repo was Dhruv Singh. And see, it responded with voice. We can also ask something chitty chatty, like what's the meaning of life? The meaning of life is 42. And the model cleverly referenced the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Now this prototype isn't limited to PowerShell. Codex can also produce Bash and Z shell scripts. I'm using WSL and Ubuntu here, so I can run Bash on Windows. And now I'll ask, what's the weather in Dublin? The model knew of a curl-friendly API that it could call, and it's a lovely, partly cloudy day. Not a huge surprise for the weather in Dublin. Now, this is just one example how Codex can make developers more productive. But more generally, modules that understand human language and code have the potential to enable much more natural interactions with our computers.